All right, so I got a quick video here. This is a 2012 F350. It was having uh, an issue where the battery light would show on the dash constantly and uh, it was not an alternator issue not anything really going on but turns out there's like a common problem with these trucks that um, basically somewhere between right here basically this general area the harness goes down and around and, and comes over to the alternator which is kind of sitting right right in there next to that uh, expansion tank the wires somewhere in that route would end up getting stressed or you know a strain in a way that they eventually break and it can break in multiple locations across the years of ownership of this truck and this specific pickup is used for snow plowing so um, it sees its fair share of bumps and, and bangs and so something happened there to where that that uh, wire got torn and it's a problematic thing so rather than you know diagnosing exactly where that broke and, and all the fuss that goes with it we're just gonna bypass those wires and so there's three wires on the uh, alternator harness uh, yellow purple and red and so the red um, just references the battery you can just hook that to 12 volts we'll put a little fuse in there I think but the purple and the yellow each go to uh, this body uh, harness right here and so this this is plugged in right here normally um, you take this off you take the little the little gray arm comes off of there first and then there's these little uh, like these little spade things you can peel back to get this um, connector more exposed like this once you have it um, actually dissected like this you can go and count in one two three four it's this purple wire right here uh, it's the fourth hole in from the uh, right or whatever however you want to reference it here but that's the one this purple guy okay so the the yellow wire is number 53 which it's in this bottom row the one that's just above my thumb and it's the one that starts in a little bit so it's one two third one in right there then if you flip it around on the back side you're looking at the row the row that starts with this green and and red here and it's you can see there's a little 51 marked there. So it's one, then the green and red is 52. It's that yellow that's peeking out right there. That's number 53. So we'll grab onto that one and we'll grab onto the fourth pin in, which is this purple one here. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here, snip them and tie them onto this harness instead. And then we'll just abandon all the wiring that's in between here in the alternator and there's no issue. So we're gonna get that soldered up. We already got the other end of the alternator harness <clears throat> all prepped up. This has got our three wires there. The soldering joints are, are back up in here. But yeah, so um, we're going to uh, go ahead and, and get that sorted. I'll put the wiring, um, the actual pin outs up right now. All right, well this hurt to do, but I did uh, nip those wires. So again, you can see which one we're dealing with here on the, on the face of it. We are the fourth hole in. And on the face, face, there's the face. We're basically just on the other side of that green with the red stripe. It's just barely peeking out that yellow right there. So we're gonna attach now our uh, purple and yellow to our harness and get that sorted. All right, so did a little uh, fixing up here. And so you can see uh, the yellow wire is tied in and the purple wire is tied in to those pin locations. The red wire comes around. Um, we didn't get on the load side of the fusible link, so we just put a uh, five amp fuse, just this crappy little fuse holder thing, perfect. And then got in right here for our 12 volt reference. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna do, button it all back up. And then of course the harness runs, it actually just has a little loop here, runs across and we'll tidy that all up over to the alternator. So yeah, pretty easy fix. All right, so we started up the truck here and uh, the light is normally like right in here and uh, nothing. So we're good to go, uh, it should be fixed.